Speaking of making plans, there are three Wallaces running in the top seven. Could they consider linking up, Dave? You know, if we had had Mike Wallace uh, in the draft earlier today, that little mock draft we did, who might he have chosen? Listen to his radio. Yeah, with that 64 and 66, we can, we can lead this race and we can all win this race if they'll help, but we'll all help each other there. Well, Carl, go to their spotters up there, okay? I'll go to their crew chief right next to me. Just follow, follow in a row, that's all we're going to finish here. That's Mike Wallace in the seven car, Stephen Wallace in the 66, and David Stremme in another car owned by Rusty. Oh, we got a spin! Oh, it's it's a tap from Wallace! Right behind you. Oh, the big one in turn one, heavy contact, cars in the wall, Stephen Wallace heavily damaged. There comes Kyle Krisiloff down, David Rudiman involved. Oh, heavy damage on Stephen Wallace's uh, Chevy. He was having such a great run, and Kyle Busch has damage on the right front of his Toyota. Kyle Busch continues to have problems finishing this race. He tried a different strategy, but he's still he caught up in the ripped off. He's checking off their road first, probably. Yeah, Rudiman has a lot of damage with his Toyota. You see Kyle Busch coming in behind him, so he will not make it four in a row here. But, you know, there again, we, we talked about this. We set it up from the beginning. It's Carl Edwards' Carl car. Edwards. We saw Carl Edwards with his hand out the windows. They were coming by us here, headed to turn one. He was waving. There's a 21 car, Stephen Light. Kenny Wallace in the 28 car as uh, Stephen Light gets the uh, children's car fired, tries to pull it away. See the intensity level coming yeah. up on these guys. We saw guys. Mike Wallace look like he was going below David uh, Rudiman right here, but they ran up on a slower car. Wow. Right. Man. That's Kevin LePage's 61 that Carl Edwards went up across the back of. And then it all broke loose behind him. Car slipping and sliding. Kelly Byers involved. Brad Keselowski, watch again. Oh, they, you see you what know, happened here. The 61 was not up to speed. And uh, he was it's almost like, uh, you know, he, he, these guys moved over and didn't see him. Had no idea that he was coming out. You know, they did. I'm sure that the spotters up there saw him on the apron. They weren't expecting him to come and join back right in front of the leaders. That's just a very unfortunate situation and, and a mistake on Kevin's uh, part and his spotter. You know, quite honestly, somebody's got to be telling him and he has to know that these leaders are coming because he just messed up a lot of cars and driver's chances. That's the reason that NASCAR has the rule that you have to keep all four tires below that yellow line before you get to turn one. We saw Clint Boyer get penalized for running his car up on the racetrack, and that's the reason because you can cause a wreck. That was a bad wreck right there, caused by a big mistake. Carl Edwards, thankfully, with that hard impact, able to walk away from his car, reigning nationwide series champion, and Stephen Wallace uh, climbing out of his heavily damaged Chevrolet after such a great run. Kelly Byers in the 47 car, he has climbed out and away. There is uh, Carl. A uh, NASCAR requires that any driver that has any kind of contact on the track goes directly to the care center. That's a good rule because you never know. You want to be going and be checked out. Well, this is the one we talked about, the big one at Talladega. Oh, All right, I'm going to leave room for two there. Say hi, say hi, go high, go high, go high. Yep. Now David Rudiman's onboard camera. We'll show you what David saw. There's Mike Wallace. Live car just wrecked the whole field, Jerry. Kyle Bush thought he could hang back and avoid trouble, but it was not to be. He was involved as well. These guys at this point are going through the trial and just racing as they normally would. Yeah, you see that 88? Slow one down low. Slow one down low. Watch this, Skip. Watch this. That's a huge mistake on Kevin Page's part to pull up in front of this group. Good. 33 car, Kale Gale driving for Kevin Delena Harvey. Back it down, 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 come on down, come on down. Kid from Mobile, Alabama coming home to drive uh, on his home racetrack in a nationwide car for the first time he was involved. Again, the 61 car. Now, what's Carl Edwards? Wow. 
Looking up across a racetrack from turn one, there comes the Reed Sorensen just sliding right over the camera. Right into your living room as these cars come by at 180 miles an hour. DJ, in terms of Carl Edwards and how much time or how little time he had to react, what is that like in the car when you when you suddenly there you look up and there's another car sitting there and you're you're running 100 miles an hour faster? Yeah, it, there's nothing that you can do. And obviously, Carl had no idea that that car was going to pull up onto the racetrack. You, you really can't see anything in front of these cars, so you have no idea. You saw Mike Wallace was making a move to go to the inside of David Rudeman. He shot back to the right when he saw the car pull up on I'm sure it took them all by surprise the ones that could see but it's a terrible feeling you know a lot most of the time you're you see that happening as you're going through an accident but this is just very very unfortunate that these guys were doing such a great job having a great race and, and then to have something like this to happen so, you know we're seeing that that right now these guys can't work on these cars uh, under the red flag condition they, they can look at them and see what they need to to uh, what tools they're going to need, what all they're going to need to fix, but they, they are not allowed to, to work this time. So it's just a, a very unfortunate situation and, and one that really could have and should have been avoided. Yeah, no excuse for that kind of an accident right there because we have, there's rules in place. NASCAR has strict rules on these cars staying below that yellow line until they get to the corner. And, uh, you know, Kevin should have stayed below that line. Latest count is uh, at least 14 cars sustained some significant damage. Uh, two or three others may have minor fender damage. And again, they cannot work on these cars uh, during the red flag. A lot of uh, debris will need to be picked up down in turns one and two as we are under a red flag condition at Talladega. It's what everybody dreads here at Talladega, the big one. And it took out as many as 16 cars, lap 70 in turn one, hard impact. Back the with more updates in just a moment. The ring of fire. The taste of love is sweet.